Hi, my name is Henry Segerman. This is regular triangulation of H3. So H3 is uh, three-dimensional hyperbolic space. Um, so what's that? So, so uh, two-dimensional hyperbolic space, uh, many people will have uh, seen in the works of uh, Escher. Escher did some tilings, uh, tessellations of hyperbolic space. Um, and he used the, uh, the Poincaré disk model of, of H2, of hyperbo the hyperbolic plane, um, which uh, you, you see a, a picture inside of a, a circle, and the, uh, the figures in the tessellation get smaller and smaller as you get near to the boundary of the circle. Um, and this is the same sort of idea in three dimensions. So um, rather than a, a circle, we get a sphere, and then there's a tiling of objects inside of the sphere that get smaller and smaller as you get nearer to the boundary. So um, I said it was a triangulation, so what that means is that it's a tiling by, well, not triangles, but tetrahedra. So if I see, so there's these sort of, sort of big uh, vertices here, and so I can put my fingers on, on these. So these, these form uh, a tetrahedron. So there are edges between these four points. You can see the edge between this point and this point going through the middle there. And so those four points, all of those edges are linked up. Uh, uh, all of these vertices are linked up to form uh, a tetrahedron. And this is a, um, a bit of a strange looking tetrahedron. It's, a, it's something called an ideal tetrahedron, um, which means that its vertices are on the boundary of H3, the sphere, and so they're not actually part of the tetrahedron. But anyway, so, so it's an ideal tetrahedron. Its, its vertices are um, out at the boundary of, of H3, um, but it's a regular tetrahedron. And what that means is, well, you can't really say all of the, the, the side lengths are the same because they're all infinitely long, but all of the dihedral angles, the angles between faces, are the same. They're all 60 degrees. And that's true for every uh, tetrahedron um, in here. Um, obviously, I had to stop at some point. Um, this pattern continues uh, filling up the, the whole of this, uh, uh, the whole of H3, um, but the the picture as you sort of draw it of the tetrahedra gets smaller and smaller and smaller as we keep sort of tiling outwards towards the boundary. So I only went, um, I think it's four, four steps outwards from the, the central tetrahedron, and this is what you get. And it has um, these uh, nice symmetries of the, of the tetrahedron. It turns out that uh, the symmetries of the central tetrahedron extend outwards to the rest of it. So this is a regular triangulation of H3.